Hi guys, how's everyone doing? I just walked into my Dollar Tree and saw this. And there are several sizes and colors, and these are three packs. These are two packs. And the rest are singles. They're so pretty. I probably even make an arrangement in some of these. Okay, this Dollar Tree got in some pretty cool looking Maybelline color sensational lipstick. And this first color is Midnight Blue, Coffee Addiction, Metallic White Gold, and gray over it. Okay, that's different. I wanted to try and show you what the colors look like. This is Coffee Addiction. And this is the Midnight Blue. And this is the Metallic White Gold. And this is gray over it. So that's the four colors. I'm going to go for this one. I'm not a real dark colored lips kind of person. But for a dollar, these look pretty cool. I'm about to show you these wet and wild lip glosses. That's a crazy color. Here's some new items. Well, new to me. Kiss eyelashes. I also found more Ioni eyelashes. Lilashes. <laughs> And they're on a separate display of their own this time. This store has a lot of them. Orange sherbet, bubblegum, chocolate chunk, minty fresh, vanilla bean, grape escape. That's just some of the names, chocolate mousse. Here's the display. And then over here, they have a bunch of wet and wild things. This one says it's a highlighter. It's kind of a lavender color. And this one is baked blush. It's darker than it's showing up on the camera. And then this one is, it's saying it's a bronzer, but it's awful light looking. And down here they have what they're calling contouring palette. And it also says step-by-step -step tutorial included. Let's check that out. I turned it around for you guys. How do you look? It says contouring Ooh. palette and the color is caramel toffee. I might have to try this. And then there's this eyeshadow. It is called Nutty. And then they have these cushion. Let's see what it says. Cushion color correctors. And this eyeshadow palette. That's pretty, a lot of neutrals. And some coverall. Cream foundation. And this I like. Mega glow. That's what it says. It says, the way the light is shining on, it's hard to tell. Illuminating powder. And it's like four different colors. So that's pretty cool. And then I saw this brush. Check this out, you guys. It says bent liner brush. That's pretty cool. And they have this hard candy. It says plumping serum flashers. And this one... I was just reading the back of it. It says Hard Candy Glitter Rotsy Press Play Glitter Reveal Lip Color. It says it turns from a matte and when you press your lips together. Hold on. It's a sparkling finish. 
And then they have this eyeshadow, bird candy. And that would be single and loving it, flirty eyeshadow. I'm gonna take a picture of the back of this one in case I didn't read it right. Sounds interesting. The manicure kit is three piece. It says scissors, nail clippers, and a nail block. And the scissors and the clippers fit into the front of it. And then there's matchbook nail files and this mirror and makeup brush set that's cute these hair clips they are teeny they have little rhinestones or something on them little tiny guys and this is let's see just a hair comb and these clips And they have these. They're so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at that detail. Let's get that glare out of there. They have these battery operated toothbrushes. They have one in Lion King and one in something that's called Treasure Marks the Spot, I think. It's such a tiny little print, I can barely read it. But have you guys ever really looked at the toothbrushes? Look, they got Shopkins, Paw Patrol, Barbie, Hot Wheels, Thomas the Train, more Barbie. I mean, Reach, that's a major name brand. Close Up, Camouflage. Pretty cool. I think I'm going to get the Lion King. Hey guys, be on the lookout because my store restocked this transfer tape, which isn't one of the ones that I tried. The leather in black and white and rust and navy blue and the transfer tape that I do like. And that's about it. Well, someone that commented on the uh, video I did of the vinyl rolls at Dollar Tree and if you're not able to find them, you could always try this contact paper. It's a dollar at the Dollar Tree, if it's just to practice with. It's just an idea. I got some cute little greenery wrapped in burlap. They have this one, this one, and this one. How cute. Let me pick it up so you can see how big it is. That's how big it is. Cute. Right next to some pretty succulents. And then up here they got some new raffia in. It's like a rust color, a cream color, a burgundy, a deep dark green, and another rust color. Here's something new, some burlap trim. And there's one, two, three different ones in the package. And then they have these vine wrapped LED string lights. That's pretty cool. And did I show you? Yeah, I think I showed you guys this peace sign wreath. I know I should do the rainbow. Check out these little flowers. I'm not sure what they're made of. But there's two different sizes and two different colors. My store has these tall baskets in again. And these are nice next to it. Pretty colors. And these down here. Oh my gosh, I did my whole craft room in these. I love the size of those. So, 
Here is our storage baskets and buckets. We got a nice supply in here recently. Wow. Here's some more of those baskets I was talking about. They come and go. Sometimes they won't have them for a while and then they get a few of them. But they're just right for doing my craft organizing. And here's some of those ones that I did a video on already. There's some that are two in a pack. And I think there's another one, a smaller one that's three in a pack. Is it this one? Yep. Looks like a basket weave. Comes in black and white. These cute little ones have drawers. Okay, this store seems to have all the 12 by 12 self-adhesive ball tiles. They have the rocks that I've been looking for. And they have this one, which is much more of a silvery gray and white, and it's looking here. And this one, which is also more grays. And this color right here is more of a chocolate, dark chocolate color. And we have this one. And this one is like a charcoal color. And white. That's about it. And if you use these, I would also add some extra adhesive. The backing seems to come away from the tiles in the back. They work really well, but some of them did that to me when I was doing a backdrop. So that's just a little helpful hint with these. And there's these sphere ice molds. Trying to get it without a glare, but it's nearly impossible. There you go, you can kind of see it there. I would probably use it for my different techniques of painting, because there's two of them in there. It says one piece, but it's two, so you can make the mold. These huge mixing bowls. I mean, look at it next to the ice cube tray. That thing is huge. Check out these little Trolls dolls. I'm sure they sell for a lot more at Walmart or somewhere. They have five different ones here. And the blue one's called Branch. And the white one is Tiny Diamond. And the pink one is Poppy. And the one to the left was, I think it is, an orangey pinkish color hair is called Mermaid. And then the one with the green hat is called Cooper. How cute are they? For a dollar. At this store they also have another troll and her name is Barb. And this is from Trolls World Tour. And there's Barb. And the other ones that I just showed you. This one kind of reminds me of Dopey from the Seven Dwarfs. They have a lot of these, which you're not sure what you're getting in these. These are the surprise packs. They have a pink one, a turquoise one, and a yellow one. And they have a lot of these guys. So I'm not sure what's in there. It says Trolls World Tour. And they have all these cute little, I think they're called Sumsums, T S U M. They have Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, Mickey, Minnie, Eeyore, Dumbo, Goofy, Stitch, and I'm not sure of the kitty's name. 
Aren't they cute? Here's the name. Okay, here's two in my hand. Here's what he looks like. They're little teeny guys, but they're cute. And here's the name. Some some. Well, that's cute. Check out this furniture for your Barbies or whatever else you might want to use it for. Maybe some gnome decorating. This is like double Adirondack chairs with a table attached, a lounge chair, and a barbecue grill. And they're pretty good size. I'll put my hand next to it. That's pretty good size. Some cute Memorial Day, 4th of July, anytime hats. And then behind that one is a solid red and blue one. Let me see. And this one. Then over here they have these super big plastic containers. I mean, these things are big. When I get home, I'll measure the ones I got. They are big. They also come in white, but I don't see white right now. I got the Hummingbird Solar Steak lights in. Quite a few. Up. They're so cute, especially if you put them inside of a potted plant like I do. And they light up at night. Oh, it's so cute. Besides the hummingbirds, now they have in the pink flamingos and the pineapples. And I love the way these light up. They light up really well. Band aids, Crayola. LOL dolls, Nerf, and camo they've been carrying. Check out this trifold pill and storage box. I want to take it off and show you what the back looks like. It shows on the back. It says three hinge layered compartments, three section compartment holds cough drops, earplugs, cap pulls. Four section compartment can store rings, pills, earrings. I didn't think of that. I just thought of pills, but that's cool. Rings, earrings. Undivided compartment fits cotton swab, bandages. That sounds neat. I might have to get that. And here's the old faithful kind. We have a round one and a typical one. And they even have a tablet cutter. I'm gonna cut your pills in half. Tylenol, anything like that. You even have the big ones. You have the double big one for night and day. Seven day pill organizer, yep, night and day. And then they have the single big one, which is a little longer. Got in these heavy duty dust masks. I'm sure you could wear them as a mask going into places and it says they're made in the USA which is excellent that's not bad too for a dollar they're the ones that stick out pretty far it says never get hair clogs again guaranteed to catch every strand of hair and then up here we have a drain rooter that's different. Okay, here's some of the things that I did get. And these are four different baskets. Take them all out. Show them to you individually. And the difference in these is the width and maybe this one may be a smidge taller. But 
this one is wider and then of course these are the set of three and they have a little bit of depth to them and these are the set of two and that's what they look like now as far as the trolls dolls i got four i got cooper poppy tiny diamond and branch here's what they look like close up And here's the one that I think looks like Dopey from the Seven Dwarfs. You're so cute. <laughs> and then she has a guitar. Or a ukulele or something. And then Tiny Diamond. Kind of looks like a scientist or something. Oh, he's got a microphone. Of course, it's Trolls World Tour. And behind that is the furniture that I got. I may use that for my gnomes. My little gnomes summer collection that I got. So I got those two. And then I did get the Lion King battery operated toothbrush. And I got the Crest 3D white toothpaste. So I'm going to give that a try. I think it costs a lot more than a dollar at Walmart. So we'll try that out. I found these little tiny Hatchimals. So I'm not sure how big it's actually going to be, but that's how big it is in my hand. It fits in my hand. I thought that was cute. And probably a lot cheaper than anywhere else. And I did get a few of the makeup items. I got the Bent Brush for eyeliner. And I got Hard Candy Perfecting Primer, minimizes lines and pores. And I did get one of the lipsticks, like I had said already, I got the light colored one. And I got the contouring palette. I keep forgetting what this is called. Let's see. This one is Illuminating Powder. So I did get that too. And I did get a few of the outdoor lights, the solar stake lights. I got the hummingbirds, which I already have outside. I got the pink flamingos, obviously, and the sunflowers. I just got two of the sunflowers. But the pink flamingos I put inside my plants outside, my fake flowers from Dollar Tree that I plant out on my deck. And I put the pink flamingos in there, and at night it looks so pretty because this whole part, I guess this is where the whole solar area is in this. So this whole side lights up pink. It's so pretty outside at night time. So I got the, like I just said, I have my fake flowers or faux flowers that I get at the Dollar Tree, and I put them out on my deck make a nice little arrangement looks like real flowers out there except that they don't need to be watered and they don't die so I got a couple of these because the Dollar Tree seems to be really low on planters this year so I actually got these I thought they look pretty nice to be planters so I got those I'll pull this over here so you can see the this is actually a turquoise. It's looking light blue in here, but it's actually a turquoise. And my flowers look really good out there in these. So if you can't find any affordable pots, especially at the Dollar Tree, check the basket area out and you'll find these. And they look really good in these outside. And they're just right for potting, even real flowers if you want. And they measure almost 13 inches wide, and from the highest point right here, they measure almost 7 inches. So like I said, that's a really good size if you want to put even real flowers in there or fake flowers. And I'm going to probably do a quick little video on my potted flowers outside, show you what I did with them. And as far as craft items this time, this is all I got was that burlap, tri burlap trim. And it has three of them on it and they say they are 
0.2 inches by 1 yard, one of them is, 0.24 inches by 1 yard, and 0.4 inches by 1 yard. And then I got these craft funnels for the gnomes that I'm making. And that's just to pour whatever you're putting into the gnomes to weight it down. And I'm also going to be doing a video soon on how to make gnome puppies. And oh my gosh, are they so adorable. And I also got that sphere ice mold. And again, there's a glare. So I'm going to take it out of the package. Okay, so here it is. And let me show you it flat and how much it sticks up so that I can put it under my canvas. If you want to use it as an ice mold, that's great too. But I just thought these looked great for doing my fluid paintings or flow paintings or pour paintings as they were originally called as far as I know. So let me show you what I mean. So this is actually a 14 by 14 canvas as, as you can see. It's up off the surface. Let me show you real quick. There it is. It's a pretty good size to hold just this one canvas up at a time. And here it is holding up a 12 by 24 canvas. And there it is underneath there. See it? So that's what I'm going to do with these. And there's a quick teaser of one of my little gnome puppies I'm going to make a video of. And last but not least, I got one of the red, white, and blue hats for Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Labor Day, or any day. So I hope you enjoyed this walk through a couple of Dollar Trees and my haul that I got. And I hope I get a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I always appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.